music intro and cut and go. Good evening. This is the Outlaw. Today I have a special video because I couldn't save it on my computer. So we're doing the old phone switcheroonie. So anyway, I've had enough acting for one night. We've already done it for Superintendent Sifflewitz and Investigate Nothing. And uh and we just had to do a quick one for you, Cassie, at the hospital, because I do say in this video that I'm on a response by tomorrow, so let's see if that happens, and on goes the computer again, and my face lights up, so you can see all those nasty little creatures in there that are all in my mind. But anyway, with no more delays, the outlaw does not like to keep his subscribers and viewers this is probably most of the police force because I haven't seen any likes on there so it's probably just people watching my channel for the latest updates well here they are and it's telling you all your jobs and where you went wrong and it's exposing you all from the police to Woolworths to gel boards to the hospital and we are a smart little outlaw so we just got to open up this phone and here we go here's my video today to Gabby I did some good stuff in there for you, Kathy. I hope you appreciate this video and learn something. He's a smart fellow, this fella. He's dead. Hope he's alright. He's probably treated by the Cairns Space Hospital. Poor fella. Is he alright? Check on him. Oh, thank God. He looks nuts. He should look at getting a day room. Hey, you know, this is an emergency. Kathy! Stop it. Hey, I can't space hospital. Mm -hmm. It's an emergency. It's a... <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. I need a day room. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen a day room? I've um, uh, got bugs in my face. Uh, probably a junkie you are then, eh? Is it? Are you? Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is the outlaw. Oh. He's not, thank God for that. And to Cathy, mm. where I didn't record the phone call. Mm. But let's start off with uh, that there, uh, Cathy. He's an honest fellow, this guy. The liaison at Cairns Base mm. Hospital. You should subscribe. Um, mm. uh, first, for any of your mm. people that are watching that you want to show things mm. to, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't like you just seen mm. there in the acting, that was called acting, quite good on my head, and I don't have an accident on my nose, no I don't, oh, good. because a boss doesn't make accidents, right, <laughs> so, let's get down to business, shall we, um, so I made a phone call to you, mm -hmm. two days after calling you the first time to outlay the problems, mm -hmm. uh, the out uh, outlaw had and what took place in the Cairns Base Hospital. I uh, took the time, you asked questions, and we had a thing. I said, I'll write you something as well to help you out, top it off, and just go to my uh, uh, YouTube uh, video, uh, Outlaw, uh, what was it, Bail Medical Treatment or something. Anyway, you all know who I am, you can all check it out. Most of you already seen it. Especially my subscribers, yes. thank you to number 22, whoever just jumped on board there. Probably you, Bernie. Outlaw loves you, but we Bernie. are down to business and we are the boss, so <clears throat> we're going to get back 
talking to mine, shall we? It's pretty smart. So, in that conversation that we had, mm. that uh, just to let you know, Cathy, as you know, that the hospital, <coughs> they have this uh, call mm. will be recorded for all sorts of fucking reasons. Mm. Uh, all right, so... Uh, and just to point out, uh, Australian law, current law today, I know a bit about law. He does. The old outlaw, he's he, got it, doesn't he? Uh, uh, so, uh, the law states here in Australia, I do not need your consent to record a conversation, mm. okay? Only one person, uh, whether it be five, ten or two people, having a conversation, if I'm actually involved in that conversation mm. and I give myself permission, I only need one person out of the two for permission. And if I give myself that right, well, that's the current laws in Australia. Look them up on Google like I try and tell the police to look up the laws they're breaking, but that's another story we're dealing with you. Uh, so that's just for your concerns about privacy and all that, and just for your information. Is it informative? Yeah, it wasn't lying. He didn't record you, did he? No, but he what didn't. What we did was what bosses do best: we improvise. <laughs> so that's just as good as getting your face on there. And the outlaw is certainly making you famous. <laughs> Well so, done, Cathy, to you. Good on uh, you. So Being the famous. viewers know that I presented myself mm. uh, to the hospital mm. uh, with these things. We have unreleased videos of the uh, ambulance arriving, all these things and all that. Oh. But we will publish them. <laughs> uh, but we want to see uh, if you guys are going to you know, follow your positions. Now, Cathy, you happen to be a liaison mm. that handles complaints at the Cairns Base Hospital. Is that not correct? Pretty responsible I job you've got. Because there will be no response, oh. uh, just like I have had from you today. So, getting into the particulars of that phone call, the boss wants to point out a couple of things. Uh, you can take this on board, uh, because if you don't, and uh, the points I make are very valid, and uh, to your position as the role of as mm. liaison. And uh, if you do not take that position seriously, then may I advise you step down and let someone else do that role that actually does care about their job and taking complaints uh, when they have one with the hospital uh, and not go to these links, of course, on YouTube. Uh, it's the only way we get people moving, doing things. So I rang you two days ago. What's the date today, please, Jonas? <laughs> You can see Jonas. that bone there. Can you tell, tell me the, the, the date there, please? Well, it's Thursday, and the number of it is... Well, you tell me when you're ready. Um, so we'll get back to that date, uh, what today is. Yep. Mm. So anyway, two days ago I rang you, and mm. uh, you asked questions. I explained everything in detail. Mm. I pointed you to the video that mm. I posted for you to see, and... Um, mm. You told me that uh, 35 days <coughs> uh, it'll take before I get a response back from whatever investigations you, you do or look into. Now, I'm going to add this here because uh, the police aren't doing it with the investigations on the police I've got going on, but mm -hmm. when you do an investigation, you ask people questions, especially the victim, uh, because they're explaining what their grievance is, correct? It makes sense to me. Right, so... In saying that, um, I, I would expect uh, uh, you to take a phone call that I had. Uh, I was just being transparent with you, so I'll bring you up today and be transparent. So uh, nice, I've notified the health ombudsman. He's a nice guy. So we're going to wait for the outcome of your 35-day investigation. <laughs> but today you couldn't even remember my name. <clears throat> you couldn't remember the situation. And you didn't look at the video you confessed on the phone. Outlaw. And um, that's why I do these Yee. videos, because no one wants to look at the, the mess that you all make. <laughs> police don't want to look at police, mm. liaisons don't want to look at their their hospital, mm. so more of the staff get away with mm. it. So not this time, mm. Outlaw will follow it through whatever channel, we've escalated it to the Ombudsman, but we'll give them this news that... You didn't even you didn't even put it anywhere. You didn't even direct it anywhere. This is two days later, and I asked you. 
and you know nothing about what's going on. So I've got to say that you've been very unprofessional about a very serious complaint that was filmed and put on YouTube for all to see. Now I've got to do a, a thing to me show on my YouTube. subscribers and viewers what was said in that hospital and all that. I'm not if anyone wanted to investigate, uh, I'm here. My phone number's everywhere with police. You got it on file. Zero four seven eight one eight four three one nine. As a boss, <coughs> CEO, what I would genuinely do is try and nut the problem out before it gets to the top of the chain. Because by the time it gets there, it's, uh, it shows that the person's pretty mm. persistent in. And they're not happy he with the response great that advice, they're getting this guy. from a I follow him myself. Um, <coughs> a facility where you get taken for emergencies. Such as I felt I was at. Yeah, look, just for evidence, I've put arrows here for you all to see. Oh. You thought I was crazy, right? No, nah, everything's for a reason. So you don't get lost. SOS, bit of an emergency to fix up, right? Yeah. I've got arrows pointed to see them. They're oh, horrible. I've got them at bay because the donors I've got them too. told me to use the aloe vera pen. It keeps them at bay, doesn't kill them. No. But I've noticed another thing in Cairns Bay's hospital. Oh. And Cathy, my complaint goes further. Oh. Because yeah. really? still... We complain a lot. Uh, then now they're spreading, you see. Look, the arrows have gone here. He oh, does oh, complain. There's, uh, there's another one over here. Oh, 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 it's moving. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 no, it's all in my mind because I'm oh. a drug addict. Oh, now, when I made that phone call to you, oh. you wanted to divert the conversation <laughs> and try and flip it onto the patient's belt oh. with all your individual words. Any, no, no. any other layman out there would have been squashed and gave up on all these words that you can't strike. Right. Smarter than you no. think. <clears throat> no, Not the so, just saying, uh, you know, the words just say come out right. I've got a lot of my mind, so I will talk raw, and they won't be sophisticated like your words. But no doubt, I've studied under millionaires in property and all sorts of fucking things you would never understand, and I know a lot about business. <coughs> so that's why we're showing people here, and now I'm showing you what you're doing wrong. And well, now can you see the way you're acting? There's mm. a patient with general concern, right? Mm. And you wanted to switch the conversation by saying, uh, oh, that, was, that was funny, uh, uh, you, you, you said you went to the hospital and you went to a day room. I said, no, you used to call a nut room. The day room. Yeah. Hey, they call it a day me. room these nuts. I said, yeah. no, yeah, that's I like the, the nurse Crazy. said, she's a psych. I asked her, is that what all you nuts call uh, the nut room? Really anyway, clever. But fuck, hey. This guy's said, pretty what, clever. What I mean, he's telling these people take? what they've done wrong. Pretty I'm clear cut. Types, don't I? Who I fucking know, knows? And mm. who cares? Because that's not what I'm ringing up about. As you can see from these videos, if I was fucked mm. up on drugs, do you think I'd be so coherent as to knuckle all your jobs and what you're doing wrong and expose it? It's oh, such a clever way I might add. Fucking he did it oh, yeah. clever too, didn't he? Eh? Think outside the square. Oh, no, Mr. Bean. But there's a job oh, like you know. fuck with, right? Oh, no. So why don't you <clears throat> pull your finger out and start doing your job? Do um, patient, look at that. I made that up for the video. You like that? Patient. Oh, that's on the video, Jonas. Oh, cross the out waiting room. I'm not. Because that's what you're doing. I better go to that table. And then when you make a genuine complaint, oh, Kathy, uh, yeah. the liaison doesn't even remember yet or what you said. Well, it's only, only one of the biggest uh, stories ever now Amnesia. to come out. To, listen up, right? So Mental liaison. Disease. I'm getting a little bit off board here all over the place. Yeah, pretty on tact. So you... Doing you a good job. You tried to He's a good guy, push the thing into, oh, you take drugs. Oh. Or oh, we could make him out to be a drug owner and put him in that day room. That's a good <laughs> idea. You, you fucking belong in that day room, let me yeah, tell you. Yeah, he's that. right. Yeah, that's not that a good idea. Cairn Space Hospital. Should put you in there. If anyone's wanting to Ooh. fucking kill themselves or just die, I would suggest going there because mm. the help that you will get will be none. Uh, yep. And in that video too, you'll see a guy in a black shirt. He walks away frustration because you mm. weren't helping him out with painkillers. Yeah, yeah. Because he had a fucking really bad headache mm. and it was doing him right in. Mm. But 
Mm. You can't stand treat people. He would have put a band-aid on that and sent oh. him out the door like he did oh. me with a taxi receipt. Taxi receipt, oh, well, well it's now, me, I need a taxi concerns, receipt. Kathy, you were cool, concerned yeah. about being recorded mm. on uh, for YouTube. Mm. Well, next time I expect some answers when I call you and... I, I suspect he does, you, Kathy. But it's pretty serious you know, guy. If you don't act a bit more professional, take mm. my complaints more serious. Mm. Well, we're already going to tell the ombudsman already, but I suggest when I call you tomorrow, you have a little bit of think about the words I said tonight, and you try and have some answers for me tomorrow as the patient that's complaining yes, about the uh, lack Hello, of... Buddy. Uh, well, no treatment I got, which is my human right here on Earth, Australian citizen, all that taxpayer. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, you'll see all those tax documents papers. later on. Yeah, I really look uh, here, to underneath that folder. Just uh, some dull bludgeon mm. fucking uh, house takeover mm. can't the uh, cops mm. moved on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, well, it's mm. a very smart man, still him. Yes, he is. But um, anyway, mm. Kathy, can space... You've been unprofessional. Unprofessional. I pointed out what you've done wrong. He's pointed it out. What they've done wrong. Yeah. Don't fight for my videos. I told you I want money because obviously I don't get results. So yeah, whoever's going to take yeah. care of that money situation and you see these videos, start thinking of a number because I've got a number in my head. And um, if I have I'm sure it's pretty big number, considering get, this guy. I get lawyers like I have against the police. It cost me seventy thousand dollars. Thank you, Mr. Bernie Carmen. And with the lack of service I'm getting from Cairns Base, um, who knows what these motherfuckers are? Still don't know. Mm. Booked into a doctor's own, they'll mm. tell me. Mm. But yep. this can go on and on. Good. Right, so, more well, worse. Enjoyed um, ending, guys. Another good ending. One, haven't we? We've done dill balls, we've Dead. exposed the police. Hey. Bloody oath. Uh, we exposed the hospital, and now we're exposing the complaints department. That's what happened, that's what occurred on my phone. I got bugs in me, Paige. today. You can that's see them there. Took place. Is there a doctor? So, in saying that, yeah, right, I don't part. know if music box over there, so... Jonas, did you have his music box? No, he's, um, no, no, we're not near it. To Cathy, call on you tomorrow. Hope you like this video. Doesn't have your voice on there, but it's got a bit of an impact. Pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah? Hmm. So these creatures are real. Here they are. Look, you can see how they transform my face too. They've eaten somebody inside, I would imagine. But that's all right. By the time I get to you, they'll be... Uh, by the time I get to anyway, I'm not going back to you. But there'll be nothing of me left. Nothing of the animal. It'd be a shame for all those government departments trying to kill him. We can't save him, Jonas. You're going to kill the outlaw. You don't help him. You move him along and hope he just walks away like he's one of those other dumb cunts that just run away because they're scared of all the authority, authoritarians. Wait, I didn't put on my day glasses. I'm ready for the day, room. Kathy, can you call that lovely assistant that you had before? Take me to the day, room. I gotta go back to the farm. The funny farm. I am putting the animals back in the cage. And I, I'm a nut. Oh, fuck it out like nuts. That sounds like he's going crackers, isn't it? Hang on. Maybe Daddy, you should help him, yeah? Daddy, they're coming back. <laughs> they're coming back. There's more of them in my head. Jonas, leave them and stop. That's great, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, I know. Well, he just made you famous. This is Crazy as fuck! Ow. <laughs> well, I don't know which phone I'm looking into at the moment. God, I love that. This ain't that fucking beautiful. Great intro. Another great one. Smashed it out of the park again. The Outlaws on a roll. 
uh, I believe the other one I did on the fly for my subscriber. He was waiting for a video. I've done one on the fly for him. Hopefully you've all enjoyed that. That's the one before this one, Kathy. This is for you. I am a busy, busy fucking outlaw. I can tell you that. All right, so all you officers out there trying to bury me for some imaginary fucking crime you're trying to do, well, here's a message just for you too. I hope you enjoy the videos as much as I enjoy making them. And I hope that your families and friends can see what a bunch of morons and cover-ups you are. And God to help the rest of cans and society if we ever have a problem with you. This is the outlaw exposing all the other fuckwits out there. Kathy, the outlaw did just make you famous. Subscribe to his channel, you might learn something, yeah? This is Boss, the outlaw out. Oh, I'm going to get this uploaded.